see today. Here we're at the UC Expo in London. Joining me today is Robin from RSA Insurance. Thank you so much for taking the time with me today. My pleasure. Fantastic. So to start off, could you give us a little introduction about how, how RSA is using digital workplace tools and perhaps how this, this is this helping your team? Of course, yeah, it's a huge focus um, for us at the moment, both this year and going forward as well. Um, I think as more of us come back into the office, we really want to make sure that it's a place that people can get work done and get it done efficiently and have a reason for people to come back into those communal spaces as opposed to just working from home all the time. Uh, we're a hybrid organization. We're not going to suddenly ask all of our employees to come back into the office. We're committed to hybrid work, but we understand that there's a kind of a time and a place for different types of work and having those collaboration um, spaces in the office is really, really important to us. Fantastic, thank you. And within that uh, digital workplace solutions and those tools, how exactly, what challenges are you faced um, while introducing these technologies and how are you overcoming those challenges? Yeah, I suppose the actual technology sometimes is the easy bit. Um, a lot of it is around getting adoption and bringing people along on the journey. People are under so much pressure in the workforce. Constant change, there's huge change fatigue in many organizations and we want to avoid that as much as possible and make it simple for them just to use technology um, so although technology itself can be a little bit difficult sometimes when you're um, implementing it really the real challenge are the people so we've had a huge focus now on making it easy making it accessible giving people different channels to learn from whether that be on-demand training whether that be something in the actual room when they're using the tools and the equipment just to give them those prompts when they're there and um, but then also selecting the right tools that make it easy and simple for people to use um, is, is a real key point that, uh, that we kind of focus on from the very beginning. Fantastic, thank you for that. And just returning back to um, a point you mentioned earlier for my final question, um, in terms of remote and hybrid working environments, and as well as individuals coming back into the office now as well, what behavioral considerations are needed to successfully deploy uh, any digital workplace tool? Um, how can firms successfully deploy as well as scale these tools considering the behavior of their workplace employees? Yeah, I suppose it's going back to having multiple channels and making sure that people are accommodated um, for in a, in a variety of different ways. So making sure that people are trained and there's adoption materials available both on demand, live in person, live on the web, and really kind of giving people every opportunity to come on that technology change journey with us and then similarly having things in the office for people to go into to um, actually you know, have a purpose when they're working from the office or have a purpose when they're working from home or remotely like me working here today so making sure that we've got technology that supports people no matter where they work um, regardless of location people should be able to get the same job done securely is, um, is kind of my motto fantastic thank you so much for that but that's all we got time for today thank you so much for joining me and giving your insights. It's been really interesting. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Rory Greener from UC Today. Thank you very much for watching.